Welcome to episode 1 of Computer Networking. In this episode, I'm going to explain to you what computer networking is and all the things that you need to understand to create a solid foundation in computer networking. And also, we're going to cover a lot of concepts in this series about networking and this will help you in case you're studying for a certificate. So this will help you find a very good understanding of computer networking itself. So what is a network? So if you do know what a network is, I'll still advise you to stick around. And if you do not know what a network is, try to think about what can be a network. So let's say each household or office has got a lot of devices and also these devices for them to communicate with each other, they need something that they can connect to of which that device is called a switch. So a switch just helps all these devices here on the network connect to each other via the network ports. So each device here on the network can be physically connected by a wire to the switch for these devices to communicate to each other. So depending on the type of organization and layout, professionally a network would be designed something like this, where you have a device on the network that connects to a wall outlet or a wall box, of which this whole box has got a wire that physically connects to a patch panel. So more about a patch panel in later videos, but this patch panel has got also Ethernet ports that now connects to a switch. So a lot of home network and small networks have a direct connection between a switch and the computer itself. So these devices connect directly from the switch to the PC or whatever device that wire is connected to, which is the Ethernet cable itself. So like I said, some networks have got devices that are connecting to a wall outlet. Then that wall outlet has got Ethernet cable that is connecting to this patch panel, of which from the patch panel, it's connecting to the actual switch of which this is now linking this device to the network itself. When it comes to certain devices like mobile phones, tablets, and laptops, most of the times you would want to connect them to a network itself and you would want them to connect with other devices on the network. So the way you would connect these devices, you would not necessarily use an ethernet cable since mobile phones and tablets don't have that type of a connection. You would want to use something like a wireless connection. So for us to achieve connecting these devices to the network, we would want to get something like an AP, which is an access point. So this access point acts as a switch, but for wireless devices, so it can connect multiple devices to the network, but wirelessly. So we can connect this access point to the network via an Ethernet cable, which is linking these devices to the same network as the other devices. So a network can have two types of connections of which we can have a wired connection and we can have a wireless connection of which these devices can still communicate with each other. And this laptop can still print to this network printer here as long as it's connected to the access point itself. Notes and summary. So a network is just simply a collection of devices that are connected to each other to share resources and information on the network. The main purpose or the primary purpose of a network is simply to connect or to enable communication between devices and also to help them share data and improve efficiency and collaboration between a lot of devices. So this in other ways just helps us communicate different devices together to exchange information effectively. For these devices to effectively connect with each other, they need to speak the same language of which that language is referred to as a protocol. So when it comes to a protocol, a protocol is just simply a set of rules outlined on how devices can communicate across a network and exchange information easily and effectively. So when it comes to protocols, you get protocols like HTTP, which refers to a protocol related to the web. And also you've got SMTP, which is related to emails. And you have things like FTP, which is a file transfer protocol, of which we're going to look at all these things in details. Now that you've got a basic understanding of what the network is, I've got a simple quiz for you, of which you just need to answer these three questions. And if you still have questions, leave them in the comment section. 